and Vortex. So, I really want to quit doing comedy. <laughs> I'll be brutally honest with you. I just hate it so very much. But I realize that that just means that I'm doing it. <laughs> because if you love something the whole time that you did it, you wouldn't really be doing it because you're not really experiencing that. I, I don't really know what to call it. Pursuit? Am I pursuing comedy? Can I call it art? Can I even call it comedy? People tell me that it's comedy, but... Well, it's usually comedy if they laugh, you know? Here's the thing, you can't expect mainstream people to understand it though. The majority of people in the audience are fucking mainstream pieces of crap. They really are. I mean, I hate to be mean, because that sounds like kind of a mean-spirited thing to say. But it's very true, you know? like they, they talk about the same stuff that they're pushing in the culture and like you're, you're literally like doing it the way that it's supposed to be done but since nobody knows what comedy is they don't know that it's like supposed to be pushing back on the culture not going along with it so they're trying to be relevant and it's not really their fault because they have really bad examples of like what this is. And you have people making fun of the culture, but they're going along with it. You're making fun of it, and of course your, your uh, so-called comedy is a lot more bitter because you're the only one that's actually fighting it. I mean, you have to be real with yourself on that because I mean, everybody that you've seen, they make it so obvious that, you know, they're not doing it for the right reason. I don't want to say everybody, but... Yeah, because I feel like at any time, any time I talk about this, I just sound so arrogant. And I, I re realize that. But I, I hate that about myself. I absolutely hate it. I don't want to be like that. But at the same time, I know I'm fucking better. 